MLW in Blantyre is a leading international health research institution affiliated with the University of Malawi's College of Medicine, the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, the University of Liverpool and the Wellcome Trust. We like to think of it as a tree rooted in Malawi, in the needs, the hopes and aspirations and the culture of the region. But it is a tree which has both roots bedded in the country and branches that bear fruit. The fruit that we look for are vaccines and drugs, new treatments, new approaches, this one, uh, eye movement. That is zero. new policies and new strategies. For example, trying to shorten the interval between patients arriving at a health center and getting seen. We also look for people from the region who are going to develop into the scientists and leaders of the future. And we're trying to develop places that are excellent for doing research, making MLW a scientific institute of world-leading quality, doing translational research, which means research that leads to patient benefits for the benefit of Malawians. And we want to attract bright scientists from around the world who originate from Malawi to come and do their postgraduate and higher science in Malawi. We want to see many African postgraduate scientists leading their own groups within MLW and training younger scientists within those groups to the point where the MLW science community is multinational, doing research relevant to Malawi's future and locally led. In our research, we focus on two main questions. The first main question is, why do people with severe infections in Malawi die so commonly in hospital? And how can we reduce that? We have nine research groups who address this question, largely based in and around the hospital. So we have both groups of clinicians working in the wards and molecular biologists working on how the bacteria live sticking together or causing an infection. The Salmonella group, for instance, is concerned with diseases like typhoid and fever-inducing non-typhoidal Salmonella. They work right from the community where they try to understand where Salmonella is circulating, in the marketplaces or in the animal's reservoir, and how the antibiotics that we're using either are or are not effective. And then in the future, currently there is no vaccine that works to prevent these infections, but in the future, to develop a vaccine. The second main question is, why are diseases like HIV, TB and malaria still circulating in the community among healthy people? What drives the transmission of these diseases and how could that be interrupted? For malaria, hotspots are around sites where malaria mosquitoes breed. And using Google Earth and similar technologies, we can map almost to the level of a puddle where mosquitoes are breeding. We can't possibly apply every preventative measure to every home in Malawi, but if we know where the hotspots are, then we can make some real inroads. But for HIV and TB, it's much more about how people meet and how people move from the hotspots to infect others. The vast majority of Malawians cook with wood and produce a level of smoke pollution that is known to be toxic to the lungs. We recently completed the largest trial of an intervention to reduce domestic smoke that has ever been done in the world. At MLW, we know that public engagement is really important. So we communicate intensively with the public among whom we do research. By using drama, by using video, by using the media, by using whichever means we can to have a conversation. And we're also telling the story of how MLW can be part of Malawi's future. We really want to have an ongoing conversation with civil leadership, where government can tell us what their priorities are 
and the scientists can understand those priorities as well as sharing what the potential of the science really is. Hey.